Greetings. Welcome to your business growth tip of the day. If you're in sales, if you're in recruiting, if your role involves interacting with others in order to grow your business, I have a very simple question for you. What's your number? What's your number? What number am I referring to? I'm referring to the number of people. Let's just say out of, out of every 10 people who you properly take through whatever process you want them to go through to understand who you are, how you helped others, how you might be able to help them. Out of every 10 people who you take through that process properly, how many actually allow you to help them? That's your number. Now, I have interacted and taught and trained and coached and mentored. Not mentored, but I have interacted with thousands and thousands and thousands of sales professionals and recruiters over my career. And while 100% of those people had a number, less than 1%, I would guess, knew what that number was. Why is that? It's just something we're not really taught or asked. Now, why is it important to know what our number is? Well, as I was taught by a very successful person, if you know your number, you can grow your number. If you know your number, you at least know how many people you have to talk to to achieve the goal that you say you want to achieve. Whether it is, let's just say you want to acquire 12 new distribution partners. Let's say you want to acquire 100 new customers. How many people must you take through the process properly in order to get one? Once you know that number, then you know at your current course and speed how many people you have to talk to to get your number. Now, one of my success coaches, even though I never met him, a man named Jim Rohn, I learned from Mr. Rohn that if you do something enough times, a ratio will appear. And if you continue to do it, the ratio tends to improve. He calls that the law of ratio. So I ask you again, what's your number? Now, I don't know how many people you have to interact with, take them through the process in order for you to discover what your number is. It's, less, it's more than 10, by the way. Probably closer to 100. Then you will get a accurate average on where you fall and it doesn't matter where you fall it is what it is you have your number but if you don't know what it is you don't know how well you're doing you don't know how much work you have to do you don't even know if you're improving so go through a hundred and it's a different let's just say topic for a different time on whether or not the actual work is being put into to actually achieve the goal you say you want to achieve but most importantly what is your number. Here's a news flash. It's probably not too high. That's okay. If you're average, it's probably somewhere between zero and one. If you're normal, I won't say normal. If you're good, probably somewhere between one and two. If you're rock solid, three. If you walk on water, extremely rare, four. It's not a big number, but it is a number. It is what it is, but at least you'll know. So your challenge for whatever goal you're going after, figure out what your number is so at least you know how much work you have to do to achieve it. This has been your business growth tip of the day. What's your number? See you next time.